What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are hey, back in Horizon much. Zero Dawn. That's right, you guys, and no snap. It's gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys, welcome back, and happy Monday. Hopefully everyone had a wonderful weekend. I don't know if I had a good weekend, because I'm filming this on Friday, but it's time we go and fight the Kopesh. We need to come in here and see exactly what we can do with this damn thing. And this one can move. Because in the last episode, I died quite a few times. Uh, I think it was two or three times that I died to this damn thing. But I'm revising my strategy. So um, over the weekend, or actually um, yesterday, which would have been Thursday for me, um, uh, my fiance Chloe and I, we, uh, <laughs> we were watching the, the footage and everything like that. And we came to the conclusion that these arrows and these arrows are the only ones that I should be shooting at big parts. This stuff is the only stuff that I should be shooting at armor bits and maybe like a radar or anything like that. Because if we go ahead and take a look, that's weak to piercing damage or damage just in general. But then we've also got, you know, the flamethrower that's weakness to piercing damage as well. The other flamethrower and then the gun turret is weak to tear. So, we could technically take all of the guns off if we're able to get that, but the other problem is those damn missile pods. Those missile pods can be a real bitch, honestly. But, we need to try and take this missile launcher, this, this kind of drone launcher, out firsthand. That wasn't one. So, now we just need to move. That way it doesn't detect where we're at, even though I think it just did. Uh, based on its red eyes that it just got, I'm gonna go and assume that it saw me. For fuck's sake. Okay, can it see me still? It shouldn't be able to. Who else can see? Oh, Christ. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay, never mind. Everything's fine. Alright, but if we stand behind this, I don't think you can break this. Yeah, I see you, you idiot. I see you. You absolute buffoon. You can't sneak up on me like that. I have eyes in the back of my brain, okay? Alright, but he can't blow this thing up, can he? No. Alright, this is where we're safe. Kind of. Okay, we're almost there. Here comes Big Boy, I think. I see you. I see you, damn it. Oh, well, I guess we're now we're down here. But hey, he can't blow through this, so that's totally fine. Hey! Hey! Who told you you could come in here? Nobody! Not a damn person. Leave my presence. You too, dickwad. Okay, there's the, there's the uh, weapon that I'm trying to take off in action. Let's try and get a quick hit. Three arrows. God damn, that thing can take a freaking beating. This thing has so many arrows in it. And it still isn't coming off? Okay, this, this asshole needs to die. Hi, bye. Come on! Oh, they can be destroyed. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, you see what I see right there? A rock. That might just be my best friend in this entire situation. Because I don't think he can blow up a rock. I hope not. If he can, then we'll just be shit out of luck. But you know? Alright. Let's try and take some of these assholes out before. I know the Kopesh saw me, but it's fine. Okay, it's not fine. Everything's not fine! For the love of God! This is what we want. Okay, here we go. Let's just pop a squat right here just for a little bit. Nope. Okay, keep moving. Oh, for fuck's sake, he can break the rock? Are you kidding me? Oh, but there's lots of healing stuff around here. Okay, that's really good to know. That's something that I did not know before. Stop chasing me, damn it! I don't like to be chased! Ow, you bitch! Why did I just take that? Yes, I see you standing there watching me. Freaking creeper. Oh! 
Oh god, it's right there! Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Alright, here we go. We gotta take... We gotta take the fight to its elemental side. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, almost overheated. Almost overheated, come on. Come on. Keep going, keep going. There it is. Big damage time, here we go. Here we go. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's, it can still shoot me when it's overheated? Oh my god, we're so exposed. Okay, that needs to go right now. Get off of there, gun! So I can actually focus? Oh, wait a second, I can use the gun against him! Pick up the gun, Aloy, pick up the gun! Now fucking unload! Oh my god! Okay, okay. Good, that's gone. That makes it just a bit easier. <laughs> Not really, though. I need to hit those. Oh, damn! What the fuck? Here we go, here we go. This is where we finish it. Don't jinx it, Ryan. Good boy. We gotta get it to be overheated again. To get down onto its knees. That's ex that right there. Right there is what we need. No! Don't fucking kill me! No, you bitch! Oh god, these missile pods. If only I could get rid of those missile pods, but I don't think I can. Aloy, keep rolling. Alright, good to know. It's got it's got a close proximity attack as well. Good to know. Right there is what I need. Lock all of these. There we go. That's right, you big bitch. It's time to die. Come on. Come on. Fucking nailed it! Fuck, dude. Yeah, that's terrifying to know. Uh, holy shit! What did I just leave? Oh, no, 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 no. We need more. We need more of those. Carrying capacity, can I do anything? No, okay, let's see. Uh, inventory modifications. Can we break some of these down? Yeah, we can, okay. Yeah, we can break down one of those. <clears throat> uh, and we'll break down... Ooh, excuse me, we'll break down that one, too. Okay, there we go. Okay! 
So good to know that you can break the gun off of that thing. Let's run around here and collect everything. <laughs> I won't keep you guys here while I do this. I'm just going to run around and get all this medicine, as well as all this. We'll be right back. Okay, so luckily in this room, there was everything that you needed to go ahead and restock as well, because we have unlimited, or we basically have full ammo again after fighting through that damn thing. It was much easier once I figured out how to exploit its weaknesses and how exactly to run away from those fracking missile pods. And then this thing, this thing really helped. Let's make sure no one else can pick this up. There we go. Perfect. I love how she says, try me now, when she picks that up. <laughs> Alright, Kopesh, see you later, you piece of shit. I hate you. I hope I never have to fight another one. That guy is hanging. Oh, good lord, that's, that's visceral. Alright, let's see. Let's just loot him. And then we'll go to the war room. That was a surprising amount of difficulty. And, you know, already. Chloe, she reminds me that I play on hard. And I completely forgot that I play on hard. I thought I was just really bad at the game. But yeah, no, I'm playing on hard. Alright. There we go. To the war room. Let's go see what this is all about. Let's see. Will we figure out what the Project Zero Dawn was? I don't know. I don't know. But let's see, any more story-related, like, audio logs and stuff like that around here? Doesn't hurt to look around for a bit. Alright, let's see. There's bound to be some stuff in here that we got to pick up. Yeah, there's one in there. Okay. Let's see, yeah, there's one right there. Is that an audio log? No. Biosphere Degradation. Uh, do 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 has already exceeded 2038 levels by every measure and grows worse by the day. Extinction timeline projections remain unchanged, with OAC predicted for the mid-November 2065 annihilation of exposed human populations in February 2066, extinction of macrobiotic land organisms by the end of March 2066, and extinction of marine life in early 2068. Continued secrecy, Project Zero Dawn, the utter silence regarding its mechanisms of action and completion date make it impossible pr to, to predict Zero Dawn's impact or lack of impact on the extinction timeline. Okay. That is crazy. So they were literally, the machines were just breaking down the earth. Piece by piece, part by part, animal by animal, <laughs> microcosm by microcosm. All right. Holy war room. Alright, is there anything to scan in here before we scan that main thing? There's something over here. I like shiny stuff. Okay. Uh, no, I'll be taking that with me. Uh, crafting. Can I make any more carrying capacity? Uh, for... Nope. Okay, we're, we're good on good on that, but potions. What do I need? A raccoon skin! I haven't even seen a damn raccoon. Alright, it's fine. Let's see what this is. Thank you, Dr. Silbert. You can take a seat. What? You're going to sack her after what she just said? Dr. Silbert has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, oh, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting food this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. 
The file so it was a weapon. The war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. Yeah. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek, I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. So it was a weapon. Or it is a weapon. <clears throat> hmm. What is that? Well, I assume that it was... These people do? <laughs> what, they do what nuke the planet or something? I didn't see this over here. Dr. Zobeck, as projected, the Wichita salient has collapsed. Five Horus class titans have broken through. We predict contact in 34 hours. Everything is in position, General. It took a few shortcuts to pull everything together, but Zero Dawn is functionally complete. Good to go. That enduring victory served its purpose after all. Yes, if we'd had even one day less. I've sent you an encoded file, Doctor. Please do me the favor of archiving it. I'll... I'll see what I can do. What is it? A brief statement. An allocution of crimes, I guess you'd call it. To what are you admitting guilt? Over the past 16 months, Doctor, I have presided over the greatest wholesale slaughter of military personnel and civilians in the history of... history. Genghis Khan, Hitler, Stalin, Sorabella, add them all together. They don't even come close. Jesus, criminy. No, not directly. But I didn't wind up the highest ranked military commander in the United States by resisting the automation of the armed forces. Even before the swarm, Doctor, I was helping death a lot. So, instead of letting what I've done sink into the murk, I forgot set a file with all the details. Let posterity judge my actions with clear vision. I'll do as you ask, General. But you Holy should crap. Were it not for your actions, our actions, there wouldn't be any posterity to judge us. Perhaps. Dr. Sobek. At ease, General. And goodbye. Hell of a thing. Holy crap, dude. Uh, also, I just want to point out a cool fact that the uh, voice actor for Elizabeth Sobeck and Aloy are the same person. Um, either that or they sound exceedingly close. Um, okay. Because I have I, I, I have a theory about, about Aloy, but it, it doesn't... I think it's been cracked in my own head, honestly. Okay, so... I'm of the mindset that they launched something into space or something like that. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the citadel. The palace at Simfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> it's not that simple. I'll need some time to work out the details. So what am I supposed to do? Wait around? I'm sure you have other matters to attend to. I'll be in touch. Wait! Silence! Other matters to attend to. <sighs> well, Varl and Sona still need help against the Eclipse. Guess I'm off to Devil's Grief. Okay. 
go to the massacre site. Okay, so yeah, this is when we're gonna have to do a couple of the side quests and or like side main quest type stuff. Is this a zipline I can use? Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, awesome. So this giant tang tentacle tangly thing, I believe that's what is known as a Horus Titan. Uh, which is terrifying. <laughs> the fact that there were like a couple of these things Together, breaking into one place? Jesus, that's scary as hell. Uh, okay, let's see. How exactly do I get onto the zip line? Just How like that. Get down from here? Whee! Well, this should be quite the ride. Yeah, no shit, this should be quite the ride. How do you intend on stopping yourself after you going orbital frickin' velocity towards the ground? Oh, that's totally... Oh, okay. What is this, Bioshock Infinite? And there we go. I'd do that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there. <laughs> try to find War Chief Sona. Jesus Sona Christ, that thing is big. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and run on back here and make sure that we got this saved. Look at this tank. It looks like it's got dual railguns on it. Holy shit. That's insane. Alright, so I would say my main this objective. Is what is that? That's the nuke territory just above. Whoa. That looks cool. Uh, what my main objective is with this entire thing now, there's another thing right there. What is all of this blue stuff? Is it just to like signify the, the path? This is the way. Uh, I want to go and find more of those cauldrons. I want to get the best equipment that I can. I want to get some of the best coils that I can. And I want to get everything that I need to access kind of the end game stuff, you know? Because... I don't even know how many hours we've been in this. What is this, episode 20? Probably like 25, 30 minutes an episode. <clears throat> 20 divided by... Yeah, so we've been at this for quite a few hours. Um, do I still have a mount? No, okay. I thought that was Robo Roach down there, but it's not. Uh, but yeah. So I think here in the next couple of episodes, we're going to continue to try and find some cauldrons. Maybe I'll do some looking around, see if I can't research where some of them are located. But, um, but yeah, so unfortunately, guys, we are indeed at the end of today's episode right here, but do not worry, we will be back tomorrow. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.